Hello everybody, it's Max McAllister here today to introduce um, my first little product into the Zwifting world. Our company is normally known for being involved in the motorcycle industry, but because I'm a little bit of an inventor and a indoor cycling Zwifting enthusiast now, I've come across things that I, I think will be helpful to people using various products. And today I've got a very simple little adjustable angle foot angling foot kit for the Wahoo headwind fan. If you've seen my review on the fan, you'll know my biggest single complaint with it is that it um, does not uh, have any way to angle adjust the fan. So uh, that renders it, in my opinion, somewhat useless because you know, you're know you forced to go find like books or magazines or two by fours or whatever to try and get the the fan to be angled at the, the location you need it to be to work in your room or in your space that you have in your environment. So what I have is, and I'm going to show you how to install one, but I'll show you how it, what it looks like and what it works like first. I have a kit that gives you uh, four and a half inches of angle adjustment range uh, so that you can put the fan at an angle that it will blow directly up at the rider's torso and I'm gonna hop on my bike. Actually, I'm gonna turn this on so you can kind of see and get an idea. Not that you can see when. This works nicely in conjunction with the Wahoo style desk uh, because now it all makes sense. Um, not sure how they arrived at the angle they arrived at, but it's, it's really of no use. Now, if you want to move the fan backwards, uh, the fan can be adjusted or angled accordingly. Uh, like I said, there's a giant range. So let me show you how to install it. It only takes a couple of minutes. It's very, very simple. Uh, let me turn this fan down so it's quiet. <clears throat> so on the Wahoo fan, you'll find on the bottom, I, I've kind of done this one so it moves quicker. Um, there's a pair of little rubber sticky feet here. You're just going to peel those off. If there's any glue or residue left behind, uh, get yourself some sort of cleaner like Goo Gone or electrical contact cleaner or fingernail polish. Clean all the glue off real nice so that that's like that. Oh, you're going to take a 3 8 inch drill bit is the only thing required to do this installation. Um, there's a flat area on the foot. You want to use the back side of it where the curve comes up. As soon as it goes flat, we're going to drill a hole right in the middle of that area. Um, just a 3 8 inch hole. Same thing here. I'm going to bring this over. Kind of show you a close-up of what I've what I've done here. I'll plug this. So this area here is kind of curved away just for aesthetics. Um, this is the flat area I was talking about where the curve comes around. Once it goes flat, just kind of drill a hole right there on each side. This is not super scientific. Um, you don't have to be, you know, no micrometers required. Um, and then it, the drill is likely to leave a uh, burr, a little, a little ring of plastic on the inside. Take a common household, you know, just a common razor blade you might have and just hold it flat, scrape the little burr off of each side so that it's smooth and flat on the inside because we're going to have a, a jam nut that goes there. Uh, we'll provide you with uh, two leveling feet with adjusting knobs and a lock nut. It's super simple. There won't even be instructions. You're just going to Put it through the hole you've drilled and you're going to run the nut down. Because you have such a long range, it actually takes a second to twiddle the nut down, um, uh, to spin the nut down. But once you kind of get where you're going with the nut, or you know the approximate height you're going to want to raise your fan, you can kind of play with your eye to see what suits your environment. Um, 
you'll get the nuts close and there's no tools required. Once the height's correct, you just spin this knob with your fingers. It will lock down because the, the jam nut is a locking nut, so that's very simple. So you just push this in and as you can see, I'm going to put the, the jam nut on the inside here. Whoops. Drop my nut. Dropped it. All right. And honestly, even though I had the holes pre-drilled, it, it just takes it takes no longer in in real time. So you can eyeball these to get them close, um, and then you're just gonna just set the fan on the ground and just check it for level. And if it's not, you just might fine tune it. So this one happens to be fine the way I put it. So now I'm able to adjust the fan, you know, basically down to where Wahoo delivered it, or up to four and a half inches. So a, a pretty significant uh, swing and angle. Hopefully that helps you find the setting. This little kit will be $14.95 and uh, we'll be able to mail it through First Class Postal to make it cheap to get it to you. So uh, we're gonna call it the Angler Kit, uh, A-N-G-L-R. It's gonna be available at Traction Dynamics at www.traction.com. So, T-R-A-X-X-I-O-N.com. And we'll have that up on the site probably tomorrow. So uh, if you're interested, if you have this trouble getting your fan aimed or you've got books and magazines and two by fours piled under it and it looks like crap, uh, hopefully this will clean up your display, make it look nice and sexy. Um, so my name's Max. Please share this with your friends that have a Wahoo headwind fan. And if you uh, like this channel, please subscribe and I'll keep this cool content coming. Thanks a lot.